come to be teaching this course on wilderness survival skills. I pause there because I'm not sure that it's really about wilderness survival skills. I think it's more about sort of connecting with some of the things that made us human. Right now we're here because we're just trying something new. And honestly, I think we've been in the city way too long, so it would help us to be able to do more, you know, to know the light of fire without using a lighter. So to be honest, this is more or less my zombie apocalypse dream. In my business, the theater and acting business, there's a perception that, you know, sometimes people are just born with it. And I don't think that's true for these kinds of wilderness skills. These are, these are like primal, uh, these are primal human experiences. We're here uh, to learn some new tricks, I guess. We like to camp and um, I always use gasoline to start a fire, so. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've tried to start a fire on my own a few times and it always takes way longer than I wanted to. So, uh, I'm actually surprised at how easy it is to pick up some of these skills. I think, I mean, I already started a spark into an ember like three or four times, you know, with, so I definitely gotta try to do this in, uh, yeah. in the real world. <laughs> it's just really satisfying to be able to start a fire on your own. The use of fire, the cooking, is what allowed our bodies to adapt. It allowed us to grow bigger brains, allowed us to sleep on the ground because predators were staying away because um, we had fire. So what we're going to do now is talk about knives. My people, the Scandinavian people, say that a knifeless man is a lifeless man. Our ancestors were using edged tools 2.6 million years ago and this is what that looked like. This is a piece of flint and this here is the knife edge. You can, it, it's sharper than probably 95% of American kitchen knives. <laughs> Our ancestors in Africa, the uh, Australiopithecine, we know we're, we're using things like that on, on uh, animal carcasses 2.6 million years ago. If you're not going to go out into the woods, why would this be valuable? It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you never need to start a fire. There's something about having that experience that is, you know, so primally human that it is just valuable. It's profound that I can be standing in America's largest city on, on a super fun site and I can be doing something that my ancestors were doing certainly thousands of years ago and maybe millions of years ago. And we have a shared experience with those ancestors. And that's, to me, that's edifying and, uh, and stimulating.